Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel My Time My Teacher. In this video we will talk about the last tense, future perfect continuous tense. How the tenses are coming to an end. This is the twelfth tense which we are doing and that will be the last. Future perfect continuous tense, as you know that perfect continuous is a mixture of perfect and continuous tense. The same we will have here in future perfect, it will be a mixture of future perfect tense and future continuous tense. Again the indication which is a part of the work that is completed and whatever the rest work is left that is going on. This is how we work about future perfect continuous tense. Let's start. Let's start the affirmative sentences, examples. For example, Ram will have been weaving a glove. Any example we can take. You see the difference will comes with all future tense. Have is indicator of perfect. ING is the indicator of continuous and been. Again we have taken from B continuous tense and the third form from perfect tense. So B ka third form we have made and that has become been. I shall have been finished my food. Shall we are using have been and main verb. This is ing here, finishing my food. Right? If you are going to make negative of it, it becomes the first one Ram will. Now when we have two or three helping verbs, not comes after the main helping verb will or shall, right? Ram, we are doing the same thing in perfect tense also, in continuous tense also. Ram will not have been weaving a glove. Second one, I shall not have been finishing my meal, right? Just I have inserted not, nothing else. No extra changes. Interrogative, again, helping or will be out, the rest of the sentence will remain same. The first one will be, will Ram have been wearing weaving a glove and a question mark. The second one shall I have been finishing my meal and a question mark after that. Alright? Got it? It looks a bit difficult but it is not. Simply mix the two sentences and you will get it. 
a sentence of simple a future continuous tense and a sentence of future perfect tense that is a very easy now come to the structure of this i am taking the structure from here only directly this is affirmative so take it from here first is subject plus will shall shall for i and v will for rest all plus been been have taken so i have is left this is not a shall have been plus have plus been plus main verb ing plus object negative i told you simply not will be inserted subject plus will shall plus not plus have plus been plus main verb ing plus object interrogative you want to see will shall will be coming in the beginning will shall plus subject will shall plus subject plus have plus been plus main verb ing plus object plus question mark it becomes future perfect continuous tense this is the structure again the structure is very important for the grammatical use of it you should know at least the helping verbs right in my another video you can see the special differences between the simple tense continuous tense and other tenses very easily clearly defined in that video so watch that video also to understand all the 12 tenses together right thank you very much